I'm going to show you really quick how you can add an image and text to the right or left of that image in a post. Okay, first thing you need to do is you're going to have to add the image. So what you do is go to File Manager, where I am right here, and you can upload your images here. I've already uploaded one. You can just click Upload Image and drag and drop it. The other thing you can do if you want is to create a folder and put the images in a folder to organize them, make them nicer and prettier. Um, but also, note this list view here and the size of your images. You really don't want your images to be this large. Um, you want to try to keep them within like 100, 200 kilobytes. And most images at 1080 by 1080, you can do that and still get a good quality image. So let's definitely try to keep them as small as you can. And when you upload them, check the size. You want KB there. You do not want the MB or the GIG G there, if you can. And you go back here to go back to the images. So we're going to use this image here. I'm going to go to the pages. I'm just going to click new page. I'm just going to call this test. Oh, test two sounds good. Suggesting. Okay, so now our page is going to be called test two. Okay, then I'm going to go here and I'm going to put my cursor here. I'm going to find the image. Clicking here, then click here, find the image. And before I jump off to um, uh, put the image in and insert it, I'm going to give it a max size of, let's say, 350 pixels. Constraint means it will try to make the picture fit within that constraint. And then I'm going to give it a style. And this is the part that's going to allow you to make it float, as they call it. So what you want to do here is you want to tell it to float left or right, and then give it some padding just to make it um, nice and pretty like that. So you're going to tell it float right, so the image will be on the right-hand side, and you're going to give some padding around the image so the text doesn't go right up on the image itself, OK? Then I'm going to say OK. Then you can just start typing. OK, once that image is there, click. Make sure it's not highlighted. So click over here and it'll go unhighlight. And I've got some text here I'm just going to paste in. It's just text, nothing other than text. And you'll see how it formats the text. See? That's how it formatted text around the image. Now, if I want to do another one here, let's go down. Can I go down here? Okay, now I want to do another one. Okay, so I'm going to um, take and let's go and add another image here. Uh, we can use the same image, that's fine. I don't think I have many images on here, in here. I want to use the same image again. This time we're going to make it 350 again, and we're going to do this. And we're going to paste, oops, wrong pasting there. Let's get it right. We're going to make it left. Okay, so let's change this to left. And padding, that's fine. And the image will go in here as a left image now. See that? And then we can take all this fancy long Latin text. I, Latin's just really good for spacing. It makes it look prettier to test things is all. And you can see how we did it, OK? Now I can just save this. And then I can view it, OK? And there's my page. Now you can see this really kind of right up on each other. And you can add breaks if you want um, to um, fix that uh, or spacing downward to fix that to get it further down if you want. It's up to you how you want to push that down. But that gives you an idea of how to do it. It's very simple. Now note that every website does have its own styling and style overrides. So it might not look exactly like the WYSIWYG as we call it here. We do load your styles into your WYSIWYG, but sometimes they still don't always look perfectly like they will when they view on the page. So definitely make sure once you've done your work to go ahead and view the page as well. Okay? All right, that's all there is to it.